This is the question we are talking about, right, Kavya? Yes, sir. Denominator of a fraction is greater than its numerator by 11. Solved it, but let's do one more time. Sir, the answer was in decimal. Say that again, Charan. The answer was in decimal for this question. Yesterday we solved it. Yeah, we don't have to convert to decimal. You can leave it as a fraction. Anyway, they have told you. That that is exactly. Yes. Sir, but fraction means we should write it like x by y. No, sir. But here x is fraction, y is another fraction. So x itself came as a fraction. Yes. Sir. Y or y is a great fraction. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So let's say our uh, number is x by y. X is the numerator. Y is the denominator. So what are they saying? Denominator is greater than the numerator by 11. Y is greater than the numerator by 11. X minus Y equal to minus 11. That was the first thing. And then X plus 8, Y plus 8. They added 8 to both, right? If 8 is added to both numerator and denominator, it reduces to 1 by 3. Yeah, it reduces by 1 by 3 is different. It reduces to 1 by 3 means it should be equal to 1 by 3. That's what it means according to the problem. So if we do that, it becomes uh, 3x plus 24 is equal to y plus 8. 3x minus y is equal to was the first equation x minus y into 1 minus 2 and it has x minus 3x y and y will get cancelled minus 11 and minus of minus 16 will become plus 16 so actually we did this yesterday minus 2x is equal to 5 so x is equal to 5 by minus 2 which we can write it as minus 5 by 2 let's keep it like this x is equal to this much use this to find the y value y is equal to x plus 11 right from the first one you're getting confused x minus y is equal to minus 11 so in place of x you put minus 5 by 2 send y to the other side so that it becomes positive bring your 11 to this side so it will be plus 11 is equal to y so i can write simply 11 minus 5 by 2 how much is that 22 minus 5 by 2 so y is equal to Seventeen by two. Okay, so that's what they are telling. X is minus five by two, and y is seventeen by two. So maybe our number it should be x by y. Correct? One two. Yes. Now two one two will get cancelled. Yes. Five by two and seventeen by two, which we will write it as minus five by two into two by two. Two and two will get cancelled. We get minus 5 by 17. I got the same answer, sir, but this will not satisfy the condition in the question. Is it satisfying, sir? No, it will actually. See, uh, see, the number has been given to you. The number is minus 5 by 2 in the numerator. This if you are trying to satisfy the number, this is the one which you have to try. Minus 5 by 2 and 17 by 2. Should not yes, sir. 5 and 17.
because x value is not 5 okay so we can't try minus 5 for that yes sir now i understand go ahead whatever you are saying say that again yesterday you were questions to solve no sir from work can that be can from that can you tell that solution of the question yes Yes, I'm getting it in fractions. Yeah, which question? First one. Sir. First one. Okay. So eight men, twelve boys. Finish the work in five days. So one man alone can finish the work in X days, let's say, and twelve boys, right? So there is two and boy alone can finish the work in five days. So how much work one man is doing each day? by x and same way work done by a boy each day will be one by one so let's take the case one how many people are working together eight men eight. twelve boys so one man does one eighth of the work so eight men will do 8 by x of the work every day 8 men 8 by x of the work 12 boys will do 12 by y of the work and together these 8 men and 12 boys they are doing this much amount of work every day now if they are doing this much amount of work and they are finishing in 5 days that means every day how much work they are actually doing they are doing 1 by 5 one fifth of the work every day That's our first one. You made a mistake here, Charan? Yes, sir. I didn't take one by one day. So, what? so in this case, eight men and twelve boys are working together. So this this is the total amount of work they are doing every day together. If they have to finish it in five days, it has to be equal to one fifth of the total work. Same way in the case two. Six men, eight boys in seven days. Six men, how much work they are doing every day? Six by X. Eight boys, they are doing eight by Y amount of work every day. And together they, they are doing some of these two. This much amount of work every day there. Yes, tell me. Answer is coming. What? Ritish, I'm not able to hear you. Your audio is also a little off. Okay. I was not able to get the number, but I, I think you're telling me, trying to tell me the answer. So let's confirm. Let's check it out. Let me finish this and then we'll see. Okay. So they finish the work in seven days means every day how much amount of work they're doing? One by, se one by seven of the work. This should be equal to one seventh of the work every day. So let's solve it. First equation, how can you write it? You have to say let one by x is equal to a, one by y is equal to b. So, 
six a plus eight b is equal to one by seven. Yeah. So when you solve this, what would you get? A will be one by forty, sir. B will be one by seven. Anyone has trouble with second question? Sir, third question. Okay. Second question, no one has problem with. Yes. All right. Then I will talk about the third question. They are saying four chairs and three tables cost this much, and five chairs and two tables cost this much. Find the cost of one chair and one table. So for this question, you want me to put A and B? Yes, yes. This is a simple question actually. Let cost of what is it first chair and then table. No? So let's say let cost of chair be is X and that of table. In the first case, there are four chairs in th and three tables. So four chairs will cost how much? Four times of x, right? This is the cost of four chairs because each chair costs x rupees. So four chairs will cost four x rupees. Then there are three tables. So three each table costs y rupees. So there will be three y. This is the total cost of four chairs and three tables. And they have given that it is equal to how much? Thousand one hundred. Yes. Easy, right? From now on, this is easy. Yes. Yeah. Five chairs and two tables. Tell me, what should I write for that? Five chairs and two tables. I write plus two is equal to one seven five zero. So you will solve for it and uh, tell me what's the value. Uh, yes, tell me. Previous means you are talking about the second question. Okay, let's finish this one first. So, I eliminate y. I will multiply the first equation by two and the third equation by three. So, when you do that, what is the x and y value you get? Okay, Hari, which question you were saying? Repeat that again. Second one. First one. Okay, the equation which I. can we 
can try to eliminate B. 24 is the LCM of the two, right? So I will multiply the third equation by two and fourth equation by three and then subtract it. So it doesn't matter which one you subtract from what, but you have to do it carefully, okay? So let's do the subtraction. This is right now 16 and this is 18. 16 minus 18. This is 24B minus 24B, so that will get cancelled. We leave that out. Then 2 by 5 minus 3 by 7. So when you solve it, minus 2A is equal to how much is this? So okay. minus is equal to minus 1 by 35. So minus and minus we can cancel and 2 will multiply to 35 and you will get A is equal to 1 by 70. So I am getting A is 1 by 70. So check this equations very thoroughly. Is it 8a plus 12b is equal to 1 by 5? Is it? Sure. Confirm. Yes, sir. And 6a plus 8b is equal to 1 by 7. Yes. Okay. And still you got a is equal to 1 by 40. Okay, let's see. Maybe I messed up something in the calculation. Let me do that again. Uh, repeat that uh, equation for me, someone. 8a plus 12b is equal to 1 by 7. 'll do the subtraction of 4 minus 3 after multiplying so that this time I will write 6 3 is a 18 a minus 8 2 is a 16 a this is 8 3 is a 24 well 2 is a 24 so that will get cancelled no need to do anything this will be 3 times 3 by 7 minus this is 2 times of that so it will be 2 by 5. 2a is equal to 15. Yeah, yeah. 8 4s are 32 only. Okay, we'll make 8 4s are? We are doing multiplying by th uh, fourth equation. Yes, fourth equation by 3. Yes, 6 3s are 18, we did. 8 3s are yes. 24, and 12 2s are yes. is 24. Yes, so then this is 15 minus 14 that is 1 by 35. So a is equal to 1 by 70. Sir, I also got 1 by 70 only. So a is what? 1 by x only, right? So 1 by x is 1 by 70. So x has to be 70 then. Sir, this. I also got the same only, sir. Check it out guys, check your calculation, maybe you would have made some mistake. Sir, I assumed A as uh, 1 by X, 1 by Y, I think. Okay. Okay, that's possible. If you have assumed differently, then you will get the same thing. Yeah, I have assumed 1 by X to be A, that's why I got 70. So ultimately X should be equal to 70 for everyone. If you have assumed what? Uh, who's x for you? 
have you assumed assumed man to be x days or boy for x days i have man for x then it should be 70 for you final answer so one man alone completes the work in 70 days one boy boy alone will complete the work in 140 days yes sir while writing the final conclusion i just stop the yes so when you write the final conclusion you should say that one man alone initial the work in 70 days and the other one when you find out with using b you should get uh, y is equal to 1 140 right so you'll get y is equal to 140 so it will be the boy one boy alone finishes the work in 140 days is it clear everyone is getting What about the other people? Sir, but I got B at one point four one four. Yes, sir, I got this. Okay, so important is man completes in seventy days, and boy completes it in one forty days. For me, X is the number of days in which one man alone finishes the work. So the final answer should be same. matter what variable you have chosen fine so today we have uh, finished the class in this we are done with this chapter now pair of linear equation in two variables from tomorrow we'll start triangles